Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Of Mules and Murphy's Law. And our scripture is Genesis chapter 6. The Lord observed the extent of human wickedness on the earth, and he saw that everything they thought or imagined was consistently and totally evil. If you're familiar with the adage known as Murphy's Law and the epigram about leopards not changing their spots, you will also have little trouble understanding how God felt about humans back in Noah's day. Murphy's Law simply states anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Add the leopard epigrammatic twist and it becomes anything that can go wrong will go wrong again and again and again. I've seen it firsthand. About 30 years ago, our church in Jacksonville, Florida, did an outdoor Christmas extravaganza, complete with stations around the buildings representing Jerusalem and Bethlehem. The pathway from the gates of the city, which were on North Main Street in Jacksonville, representing Main Street, Jerusalem, with tax collectors and Roman soldiers and Pharisees, women at the well, etc., eventually brought the visitors around to the back parking lot and the manger. We had all the cast, Mary, Joseph, a two-month-old baby Jesus, plenty of sheep, a milk cow, and one very strong-willed mule. The mule's owner had a six-year-old son in charge of keeping the animal off to one side of the manger while the preacher greeted the visiting public and shared the story of Jesus' birth. That was the plan. However, plans have a rather obnoxious habit of colliding with Murphy's Law, and in this case, we became the story worthy of Clark Griswold's Christmas vacation. The first couple of groups that came to the manger were textbook successes. Then the mules started getting bored or anxious, wanting to take over my presentation of the gospel. It was hard for the crowd to hear the preacher for the braying. A church member with a questionable sense of humor later told me it was hard to tell the difference between my preaching and the mules anyway. Well, the next time a group came through, I cautioned the young boy holding the harness lead to keep the beast quiet. About halfway through my presentation, the mule decided he'd had enough. He strolled right between me and the crowd, dragging a six-year-old, holding on to the harness reins, yelling at the top of his lungs, Stop it! Stop it, you fool mule! It was loud enough to be heard in South Georgia. The worst part was the mule looking back and staring at me face to face like Balaam's donkey with that look that said, You were never in charge anyway, preacher. If the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over while expecting a different result, Murphy's correlation of that would be, If you think you're in control, you'll spend major portions of your life in therapy. The people of Noah's day thought they were in control, but that was before the barometer dropped and the thunderclouds gathered. For you today, not every plan you make will result in as much disaster as that one night in North Florida's manger scene, but even when it does, it may be appropriate. There may have been some people there who just needed a good laugh and a lighter load during a tough time. It's hard to figure out why God put mules on the earth until the moment they steal the show. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.